their forecast. A cloudy day for sure here across the area. We've got a cold front actually moving through uh, Broome County uh, at the moment. Nationally, there is just, there continues to be not much going on. Um, very quiet weather pattern. However, as I mentioned, that front is marching through right now with some light rain, a little bit of drizzle, a little bit of mist, a lot of clouds. But you see this um, uh, band of you know, darker greens. That's right along the cold front. And I just checked the surface observations at the airport. Uh, their winds are out of the north and northwest. Very light winds, but that means the front has moved through the airport. Sherburn, you're probably seeing that front right now, if not very shortly. City of Norwich, the front's still probably about 15 miles or so. 10, maybe 10 miles west of you. Um, and then again, places east, still just some very light rain. So a, a damp, you know, dare I say dreary day today. 50s pretty much across the board. Uh, as expected, we couldn't warm up much here with all the clouds in place. Cold front moving through right now, as I just showed you on the radar, drizzle and some fog overnight tonight with a pretty um, wet atmosphere. Sun will slowly develop on Thursday, I think, and by the time we get to early next week, there's some signs we might see some chilly nights ahead. Also, there was a large um, CME that came off of the um, uh, sun yesterday. And right now, looking at um, the Space Weather Prediction Center has issued a uh, geomagnetic, geomagnetic storm watch for a G3 level storm, which is a strong storm. Uh, this would be for Wednesday or for uh, October 4th. Now, doesn't give us a guarantee that we're going to see the northern lights, but there is some uh, energy headed toward Earth from the sun uh, from that, uh, you know, from that CME that occurred yesterday. And it was a strong one. So here we go. This evening, we've got uh, cloudy skies, 11 o'clock still. I think places north and west may get a little bit of clearing. And, and with that being said, it could affect temperatures drastically here for tonight. But again, a lot of clouds around tomorrow morning, some fog in the valleys. By the afternoon, sunshine and clouds. But notice, we're expected uh, to stay dry through the day on Thursday. Now, temperatures, I mentioned there could be a, a range tonight. Midnight, I think we're in the upper 40s to low 50s. It's a cool night. I mean, the front's coming through, so we're changing air masses. Then getting into tomorrow morning, it's entirely possible it could be low to mid 40s where the skies are clear to the north and west. May only stay in the mid 50s to the south and east where the uh, clouds have been hanging on a little bit longer. But as we get into the afternoon tomorrow, I think high temperatures are going to be likely in the upper 60s to maybe even some low 70s. Seven-day forecast. There it is. In fact, I've got a high around 70. Friday looks to be not a bad day. I think clouds will increase through the day. If we see any showers, uh, they would be isolated later in the afternoon and even, well, probably into the evening. Overnight Friday, maybe a few rain showers, some sun on Saturday. Sunday, uh, we have a cold front coming in late. Could bring some, will likely bring some rain late and overnight into Sunday morning. But Sunday will be cooler. Uh, mo Monday will be cooler, excuse me. Uh, and then by Tuesday and Wednesday, some 50s. But notice the overnight lows there, yeah. Monday night and Tuesday night could be some 30s. I, yeah, I was noticing mm -hmm. Tuesday to Wednesday, it's 38. And I know earlier you were talking about uh, frost. frost. Yeah. yeah, this is not, we haven't had an area-wide frost yet. Uh, and the growing season is still technically going. So, um, you know, if we do get to that point where we see some widespread frost or any frost at all, really, mm -hmm. you know, we'll keep you uh, up to date. But keep an eye on early next week. Yeah, I was going to say, is early next week kind of like the average of what you guys yeah, see? Yeah, we're, or... we're in the average right now for okay. a lot of the area. But because of our terrain in this area, the averages can, can vary drastically by a week or a couple weeks. All right. So yeah. basically keep an eye out. Exactly. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much.